Hi, my name is James Flanagan and I'm the director of the Cancer Informatics stream within the MRES for Cancer Biology here at Imperial College. A few years ago we recognised that some of the students that were coming onto our course had the desire to do bioinformatics research projects but not really the skills um, through their undergraduate training. And so as a result we've developed this new stream to provide that training. Hi, my name's Ed Curry. I'm the senior tutor for the Cancer Informatics course. That means I've put together a lot of the taught material for the degree. Over three weeks, we have a series of lectures covering the mathematical concepts which underpin the data analysis techniques we use. We also have practical workshops which are built on written tutorial walkthroughs using freely available data and software. These walkthroughs explain all aspects of computer code which are used, which our previous teaching experience has proven really helpful when it comes to introducing this sort of computational biology work to people who don't have a background in programming. We keep these examples rooted in real cancer research questions using cutting edge techniques and data sets. The talk component of this course prepares you to undertake a project in one of the research groups in the Division of Cancer here at Imperial College. My name's Poppy, I'm doing the Cancer MRES course at Imperial um, and I've done the bioinformatics stream. I chose the informatics module because I thought it was a perfect opportunity to learn a new skill that I might not get a chance to learn elsewhere. Before I started the course I had no bioinformatics experience at all, um, not even computer sciences. I had a rudimentary knowledge of statistics from university but that was it. In my project I was basically studying um, how, methylation, how DNA methylation patterns vary between different cancer types. The thing that I've enjoyed the most has also been the thing that I found the most challenging, which was learning to think of data sets in a more abstract way, um, kind of thinking about how different variables interact without ever actually seeing the data represented graphically or in a table. Something that I found really rewarding has been um, seeing fewer and fewer error messages, which at the start there was just a huge barrage of error messages, and um, I couldn't do tasks that I knew how to carry out even in Excel. But as I got to grips with it more, I was able to analyse larger and larger data sets um, much quicker. And so I think that's been the most rewarding part of it. After the course, I'm planning to do, um, follow a career into cancer immunology. So I'm sure that I haven't seen the back of R yet. Hello, I'm Enox and I am a um, MRS student doing the cancer bioinformatics. I personally haven't had any experience in bioinformatics or any type of programming before. So choosing a bioinformatic project is definitely a huge challenge for me, but that's also what it appealed to me at the very first place, so that I can actually get a taste of doing research with a completely different type of tools. To be honest, uh, it wasn't an easy thing to start on with, but I think bioinformatics is a very important technique and it would definitely improve your future employability. It does take time to get familiar with the whole system and the concept behind it, but meanwhile, it provides a really good training in logic uh, thinking and you got more confident in manipulating a large amount of data. My project is um, using whole genome by cell sequencing data to look for potential biomarkers for breast cancer risks. I think it would be good to do a PhD afterwards, but also um, learning bioinformatics provides a different opportunity to explore um, the outside world to work on um, bioinformatics. Our hope is that the students that take this course will finish the course with not only the skills to do the wet lab research but also the dry lab, the bioinformatics research, so that when they come to do their PhDs or indeed their future careers in research they will have a very desirable set of skills combining both the wet lab and the dry lab and we believe this is a set of skills that will be really important for future biomedical research.